What's up guys and welcome back to more Strider. When you last joined me, I recently defeated the bosses, the Wind Sisters, and now I have option A, which means I can go activate some stuff. Okay, doke. Let's just fall down. No need to make this any harder than it needs to be. Amazing. I just I just died in a sonic way. I got caught between some uh, some ledges. Cool, let's just get some health back. I don't remember if there's anything here. Oh, there's some jump rings. That's about it. Alright, yeah, there's an option. Oh, nice, it tells you. Thank goodness. It tells you if the option can be used. Thank you, Strider, for thinking of everything. Seriously. like It's just a constant reminder why I like this game. I just, I just like games that are just complete, you know? Games that just give you all the information right in front of you, just let you have everything necessary to complete the game. So the rest is up to just your own skill and switch reflexes. Oh, that's what that stops. That's what stops the little pile on things, and that's what allows me to get my upgrade. Makes sense. Makes sense. Cool, cool. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's just my favorite games are sort of games that are just designed in a way that if I come back to them, I can just sit down, you know, get into it, and within a few minutes I'm already having fun. You know, no... Just nothing... No fluff, really. Just plain good fun. That's what makes something like Strider really enjoyable. Alright, so two areas. The first is the upgrade area. Okay. Destroyed him. And those rockets are persistent. Oh dear, hold on. Oh, cool. Wow, those rockets <laughs> will follow you to the end of the earth. Upgrade! Nice. Maximum energy increased. Useful. And I should go... Yeah, down there into the other room. Where the option is. And since, yeah, there was... I need flame doors to go that way, so... A uh, flame blade to go that way, sorry. Screw you, you stupid... Whoa! I forgot about that. Oh my god, look how much I'm taking from this. Yay, damage spikes, I love them. I mean, I suppose it's fair in the sense that, yeah, you got... You know, sure you got this... Uh, Blade that I'm gonna die. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Wow, I haven't died in ages and that nearly got me killed. Fantastic. Oh my, unbelievable. Haven't died in absolutely ages and then a bunch of shenanigans nearly gets me killed. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh, right, there we go. That's how you get the outfit. Using the option. Oh god, is it worth it? I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Do I want to risk even going back out there just to go collect the item? Alright. Can I snatch and grab? Yes, I can! Yes! I'm out of here. Nope, I'm out of here. I don't care. <laughs> and jump! And nearly die anyway. Godlike. I should have hit that checkpoint while well, I had the chance. Doesn't matter. Alright, cool. That's a flame room and those are flame doors and I can't come back here until I get the flame blade. Which is fine. So that will happen later. But until then, let's move on. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> Man, I'm nearly dead. But luckily I just got the first Strider outfit. I mean, not the first Strider outfit you can find, but rather the first Strider outfit within this area. Strider Roga. Nice! This is definitely one of the coolest looking ones. He's got the red shoes, the black pants, and the white outfit. It doesn't look right here because for some stupid reason this game reflects the background of where you're standing, but looks cool. Oh, please tell me. There's a checkpoint. No, there isn't. Oh, no, there's one there. Oh, dear. I might not make it. Oh, yeah, I've got option A. I forgot. 
And I'm dead. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I have to start at the checkpoint. Dear God. <laughs> oh my God. I took so much damage from that one room. And I, I'm thinking about it. I forgot that I have... Oh, see? Look, look where I have to start from. Fantastic. Oh my... Like, do you know how annoying you are? Like, actually, I know how annoying you are. Screw you. I just remembered I have option A, now I can go nuts. Alright, yeah, I got the upgrade, so it's safe from there. Yes, just... Stop my charge. Oh, look how much damage this is doing. Oh, this is exactly what got me killed last time. This is exactly what got me killed last time. My god. Ugh. So much damage from that. Perfect. Christ. <laughs> that is exactly what got me killed last time. Man, it's just like, oh, you double jump and then you get hit by the rocket and you fall into the lava. Man, so I mean, at first I was I was about to revoke what I said in my Strider review, which I wrote for um, 6gaming.com, which is spelled uh, 6 and the number aiming. Uh, sorry, the number 6 and the word aiming. So instead of the G, you have the number 6. So yeah, 6gaming as I like to call it. I wrote my Strider review for 6gaming. And I said that this game is fun, but has these really rigid and at times unfair difficulty spikes. And you know what? I stand by that. You know, I'm going to go to the checkpoint. I stand by that. This game is fun, but it has some scary difficulty spikes where suddenly you're just getting mauled by things at once. It's like, it's pretty easy for the most part. And when you spend a lot of your time exploring, it's no big deal. But then suddenly you run into a group of enemies that all just obliterate your health. Thank you. Oh, there, there you go. You can see better now. Look at that. Freaking cool. I, I just love the look of it. Also, fun fact. When you complete this... Oh, sorry. When you get all of the Strider outfits, you get to customize your colors. That seems like something really awesome that should be given to you. Maybe not at the beginning, but sort of closer to the beginning. Because I feel like getting it as a bonus for getting all the outfits is nice and all, but at that point, you're done with the game, and then it's like, there's nothing else to do. I don't know. I, I felt like it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, I'm gonna use Optimo. Now that I have Option A, like, it just makes combat so much easier. Actually. And also it builds up my combo meter faster, which helps. Screw you, you stupid bile. Ow. And also, option A hurts these little guys as well. Which is a nice bonus. Why isn't he attaching to the ceiling? I really don't know. Christ. I hate these things. Yeah, fall into the same acid you make me fall into, you annoying enemy. There we go. Uh. Like, I'm so vindictive and vengeful like that, where it's like, if an enemy has been annoying me a certain amount of times, they... I, I can literally take legitimate pleasure in just making them suffer what I have suffered. And, and to, to quote Raul Menendez from Black Ops 2, you suffer with me. I've got tons of... Um, I used to play conservatively with option A, but honestly, once you have all the uh, upgrades. Once you have a lot of the upgrades, you can pretty much go nuts with it. I guess that's how the game is designed. It's not really designed to shortchange you, which is nice. Okay, cool. Let's see now. Gotta get. I still don't have the upgrade that can get me different things, but I have the upgrade to at least open the door. Okay. 
Moving on. Oh. Yeah, I still don't have that upgrade yet, but at least I have the upgrade that can help open this little thing. Oh, there it is. In this room, allow me to activate this thing. Alright, done. Open the valve. Finally. Alright, let's see. Where am I headed? I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, wait, no, it's gonna tell me. Proceed to the black market. Right, right, right. I shall do that on the next episode of Strider. <laughs> see you guys later.